here's my three tricks to get your print to stick to the bed just by tweaking uh, slicer settings. I'm in this new setting because I have my computer in front of me, so I'm recording off my webcam. And I want to show you uh, a few tricks of the trade I learned uh, along the way uh, to improve your chances of having your, um, your print to stick to the bed just by tweaking uh, three slicer settings, which I think are quite uh, important for this task. So let me get into it and I will show you how you do it. So here we are, uh, I got uh, Prussia Slicer in front of me, but uh, pretty much the same settings might be applied to uh, Cura, so uh, your preference. I stopped using Cura for several reasons, but not for this video today. So uh, let me share with you the print settings we have here. So let's go into, in, into layers and perimeters first. So uh, you see that the clever people in Cura has defaulted the first layer height to 0.2 millimeters. And if you, even if you choose a lower print value than 0.1 as a uh, first layer, as a layer height, the first layer height never goes below 0.2, which is not the case with Cura. Cura just defaults to the same uh, layer height setting you set there. So that's a plus for the Prusa slicer, but uh, this, not, this is not going to be enough for me. Uh, the second setting we're going to look at is the speed on the first layer. As you can see here, also it has decreased if you take perimeters 40 millimeters per second, and the default for Cura is uh, 20 millimeters per second. And the third one is the in the advanced tab, which is the first layer width. So it's the extrusion width, it's the width at which the printer extrudes the first line in the first layer. So let's just uh, slice this Benchy now with the default parameters and let's see what happens. And this is our first Benchy, so nothing marvelous here. So if we go into the first layer and we zoom it in, you will see a pretty much normal first layer. And this is where you're going to see what happens when we increase the layer, uh, the line thickness in this layer. So let's remember this one. And let's go into the print settings again. And then we default the first layer height to 0.3. This is what I use in most of the prints. I change this only if the first layer is actually not the bottom of the model, but it's maybe the top of the model. So you want to have uh, maybe a bit of a thinner detail. Otherwise, 0.3 works for me. And I use that, I think, in 90% of the cases. The other one, then let's go back to advanced, and I set this to 0 0.8. And 0 0.8 might look uh, might look uh, large on a 0 0.4 nozzle, but basically what happens there is that the machine over extrudes in the first layer, and you will see what happens. I don't recommend going above that if you don't want to create hollows in the first layer. Um, when it comes to speed, the third magical setting I, I tweak is the first layer speed. I go not for 20 millimeters per second, I go for 20%. So 20% of the first uh, line speed of the uh, basic print uh, speed. The reason why I do this is that even if you invest more time in the first uh, layer, that will pay off because then if you have a long print, you're not going to just have to, you know, uh, go over a sleepless night because uh, that uh, print might uh, come loose from the bed and just uh, mess all over the place. So I really prefer to go very, very slow in the first layer. And I've seen that this helps a lot when, for example, the nozzle changes direction and avoids to drag the uh, just uh, laid down line along. So I've seen this uh, quite a few times and that helps uh, for me. So let's slice this now and see the difference from the previous uh, line. And here we have our Benchy again. So if I go down to the first layer, you will see that in this case, the lines are much thicker. Um, as I said, what happens now is that the extruder is actually laying down more material. You have to be wary of this uh, thing only if you're printing thin items, because if you're printing thin items, you might end up like for in this case, with missing bits or uh, you might uh, end up with problems in your prints. But if you have a large base or a reasonably large base, uh, like you want to go in this direction without issues. Just to show what I mean, I'm going to go in this Benchy again and I'm going to make it larger. So what happens if I make this, oops, sorry. If I make this double size, now it fails me 
to understand how to do this with handles. So I'm going to do it like this. So let's slice this baby again and let's see what happens to the first layer. And here we have our super large Benchy. And if I go down to the size of the first layer, you will see that even in this case, even if we have a double thickness, that prints out the details pretty okay. So I think I will be going for this. Just a note here that this is not possible to do with Kura uh, because for some reason Kura uh, has the same setting for bottom and top uh, layer. Uh, so if you change the line width in the top bottom layer, then you will also end up with, for example, the deck of the Benchy and the chimney and everything else, double, double size, which is uh, something that you might not want to have. So let's go back to the original settings and uh, I will compare side by side uh, what is the difference between the two layer lines. And this is the bottom of the double sized Benchy with default layer line width. So you see quite clearly that the layer line number is much less. On top of this, of course, the other advantage is that this will print the bottom layer faster because it prints half of the lines. So that might also be another benefit uh, that may offset the fact that we're printing the first layer slower. And that's it for, uh, for this. As I said, you can apply two of the three uh, same suggestions in, in Cura. So feel free to use your preferred slicer I am sticking with uh, Prusa Slicer and I might uh, make another episode explaining you why. And this concludes it for today. I hope you enjoyed this new format of uh, slicing with a make design. And if you like what you see, you might consider subscribing to the channel. That is, of course, uh, very appreciated from my side. And this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time.